What's going on YouTube? I've got a really exciting rip here today. I have got uh, one of the Charizard, the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection boxes. A little bit early. These are scheduled to release, I believe, on October 28th on this upcoming Friday. I was fortunate enough to get my hands on one early, so I am super excited to rip into this. We're going to kind of take our time through it and see what we can get. Um, just right off the bat, I mean, I already knew this was going to look awesome just based on the pictures, but the, the box is just phenomenal. Big fan of the presentation of this one. And um, they've been a little easier to get, I think, than the uh, Celebrations UPCs. But uh, I, I don't know. I expect these to kind of hold some decent value, I would imagine. Um, we got a lot of Brilliant Stars packs, it looks like. Vivid Voltage Darkness, a few Evolving, a few Fusion. And we get a playmat. But I believe the playmat's a little smaller than like a normal size playmat. And then obviously we're going to get the uh, alternate arts. And I'm not sure what the book is. Uh, a player's guide, just a player's guide to the entire Sword and Shield series. So, uh, anyways, I'm super excited to get into this one. So let's go ahead and just dig into it right now. And hopefully we can uh, get some decent pulls out of the packs. And I would love for the promos to be in good condition. But yeah, so we just we recently went over 300 subscribers, and uh, once we get to 500, we'll do some giveaways. We'll do uh, some Pokemon, some basketball, and some football. So probably like an ETB, a blaster of each football and basketball. So a decent size giveaway. So if you could, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe if you have not already done so. And uh, yeah, here we go. This should be the top. Yep. All right. So really cool looking artwork there. I'll show that at, at the end once I pull everything out. So much like the Celebrations UPC, it's got these little drawers in here. But here's the play mat. Awesome artwork on that. Yeah, that is a little bit smaller than like my standard playmat. It's a little shorter by like an inch and maybe an inch or two top to bottom, but uh, really, really cool playmat. So I'll take that. Um, all right, here are our promos. They are just kind of loosey goosey in here, and they are all three in one. Okay. I think that is right. So let's go ahead and pull them out of here carefully. <clears throat> All right, here is the Charizard V. Fortunately looking maybe a little thick on the left. Next up I've got the Charizard V Max. That one's a little thick on the right. And Charizard V Star. That one's also thick on the right. Darn. Here's the code if you guys want the code. Um considering these just being kind of loose in there, they're they don't seem to be in terrible condition. Um Aside from just the centering, so yeah, really awesome cards though. I I don't know which one's my favorite. I think the V Max is honestly my favorite. I think the the V Max is. That's awesome. Um, the V Star is pretty cool too, with the Mewtwo on it. Um, 
Yeah, cor corners actually seem decent. It's just the centering that's a little bit of a bummer on these ones. Hmm. Yeah. Big fan of these being the promos. The V, the V Star, and the V Max. All right. So let's go ahead and set those aside for now. We'll probably just pull everything out of the box first. So it actually looks like the packs are different than I expected. We'll go through those in a second. Uh, this middle pack has a little V Star marker, nothing special normal V-Star marker that uh, you get in like the ETBs or something. Here's more of the packs and what else did we get in here? Something else. Oh, the metal coin. That one's cool. Um, kind of hard to see it. Oh, it goes like that. But it's solid. And then our last little section here has the metal dice. And the uh, Poison, these are solid metal too. Very, very nice quality on those. And um, we also got this little deck box, or deck pack, um, sleeves pack. I don't know, I don't know what I'm thinking. Where's the, did we not get a player's guide thing? I thought you were supposed to get like a player's guide. Oh, it's, it's stuck up here. Okay. There it is, okay. So here's a quick peek into this. Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, Darkness Blaze, Champion's Path. Okay, so it just kind of goes over all the different sets. How many cards are in the set, how many secrets there are, the, the symbol. It doesn't go into depth, like you don't see a ton of the cards. There's Darkness of Blaze. Let's take a look at some of the more recent ones. Like what's the evolving? Okay, so the evolving only has that Rayquaza VMAX, the regular one on there. Oh, and a couple of these other. None of the alternate arts or anything that I can see pictured here. The introduce, introduction of the V-Star, Silver Tempest. Did they give us any sneak peek? No. No pictures of the Silver Tempest. Special Delivery Bidoof. Pikachu V Union. Hmm. All right, well, that's kind of cool. I'll uh, see if I can tuck that back up in here. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into the packs real quick. Oh, I think the most interesting piece of this that everyone wants to see is all the, the promos and the contents of the box um, but like I said beautiful presentation and here is the that inside piece of it let's flip it open so all right let's go ahead and take a look at our packs I thought based on the the outside of the box it was gonna be mostly brilliant couple fusion and evolving and like one darkness and uh, here I'll show it off again so this is what I thought we were gonna get one vivid one darkness three evolving three fusion and like one two three four five six seven eight brilliant um, but we got one two three four fusion one two three evolving one vivid and we got a lost origin two of them astral radiance three of them and three brilliant stars so we'll take it. Um, let's do, let's start off with the Vivid. We'll do the Fusion. We'll end with Evolving, Brilliant, and Lost Origin. We'll do the Astral, Vivid, and Fusion first. So, all right, we are looking for the Rainbow Chunkachu. I'd really love to pull the pink Pikachu V as well. Doesn't look like we're gonna hit anything. It's the newer code card. Of the older set so all right got a fire we could still pull like an amazing rare charmeleon I like that charmeleon from this set um, Woobat and a Vaporeon reverse so nothing there all right fusion strike we are looking for the Mew the Gengar specifically I really love the Espeon VMAX that is my favorite alternate art from the set. 
Doesn't appear like we're gonna get anything two fire energies in a row since we got the white code. The fusion strike, I believe, was the first set they started using those types of code cards after a long stint with the old ones. Hopefully we can get some hits here. Not getting anything yet. Psychic energy. Farewell bell. There's a Meowth. And a Jinx Reverse. All right, so 0 for 3 so far. Quite a few packs to go. Um, I didn't even count. How many is it How many is the total? I, I didn't see how many it was supposed to be. Um, 16 boosters. That's a lot of boosters. I mean, honestly, at, at, the, at the price, these I think these retail at 120 plus tax. So with, for 16 packs... And the, I mean, the box, the playmat, the alternate arts. I mean, you really can't go wrong on any of them. I think it's a fantastic value. All right, we uh, we got one hit out of fusion. All right, here we go. Water energy. Excadrill, Double, Morpeko, and we've got just a Gengar V. That's a sweet looking V though. If you're going to get a V, that's a cool one to get. Um, but not exactly what we're looking for. Astral Radiance, we are looking for the Machamp Altart, I believe. And I actually really specifically want to pull the Beedrill. I know it's not the most valuable from the set, but it's my personal favorite from the set. Got a Leaf Energy. We can't pull Trainer Galleries though, so even though we got the white code card, we might still hit something. I don't remember which is my favorite, or which is the best one to pull. Is it the, I think it's the Starmie is the best one out of this one. Man, we are not doing well on the hits, though. They have been sparse. All it takes is one, though. All I gotta do is hit one, one nice card, and makes it all better. That is not gonna be in this pack. So far, through about half the packs, we've only hit one black code card. And no trainer galleries either. Got a leaf energy, Grant, Hisuian Electrode. And Togepi, nothing. All right, so we're about halfway through, I think. I didn't count them specifically, but we are striking out left and right. Lost Origin, all right. Uh, this is one of the more recent ones. This is this is the one that I think it's got the Pikachu. This one just came out. This one has the Pikachu V and V Max Trainer Gallery and just the regular Pikachu. Um, uh, what are the alt arts you chase? Oh, the Aerodactyl. I'd love to pull that one. I think people are most people. I think value the Giratina higher, but I personally like the Aerodactyl. I'm biased towards the original 150, 151 Pokemon. All right, last Lost Origin. Pretty good variety of packs. Man, again, no hits. No hits. Come on, let's at least pull a Trainer Gallery. Just to be worth it. I know the Lost Origin, the hit, the pull rates are pretty tough, though. Oh, okay. There's a Radiant Hisuian Sneasler. It's a lot, of, a lot of wording to fit on a card. The Japanese Radiance looks so much cooler being shiny all over the card. We'll take it. There's a hit. Brilliant Stars, my one of my favorite sets. Could not, for the life of me, pull the Charizard alternate art. I tried. I pulled just about everything except for that and the rainbow Charizard V-Star. And I opened a ton. 
ton of brilliant stars. I think I was probably something around like 13, 1400 packs, and I did not pull it. I ended up caving, just buying it, grading it, and I did get a 10. But we did get it. Oh, okay, we got a hollow in that, um, even though it was a white code. Man, I'd love to pull the Charizard just to go with the other Charizards. And to make the video that much more exciting. Starmie. Electabuzz. Gibble. No trainer gallery. And just a regular rare. Man, we are just striking out like crazy. I got to imagine like most other boxes are going to have more hits than mine. Hopefully, when you guys get a chance to open this, if you do end up getting one, you do better on your packs than I have done. This has been brutal for the hits. Kindler. Sock. Corefish. And Starmie Reverse. That's it. All right. Well, hey, if we pull a Moonbreon here, then it's all good. Wouldn't that be something? Opened a lot of Evolving Skies. Pulled almost all the alternate arts. Rayquaza VMAX, Rayquaza V, Umbreon V, VMAX, Glaceon V, VMAX. Only ones I didn't pull were the, both Leafeons and then like... Sylveon VMAX? I think I pulled the Sylveon V. Skiploom and a Draca, Dracozolt, Dracozolt V. Um, was that a... Oh, okay, that was... Oh, yo, this is... Okay, I didn't show the back. This is the old code card in the Evolving. That's kind of weird, because I know they reprinted it with the new code cards. Weird. All right, we might have a hit here, too. If we want to hit anything, it's definitely out of Evolving. We all know what we're looking for here. A lot of, a lot of alt arts to chase. They're all great. Almost all of them. Got a Psyduck and just a Dialga Hollow. Alright, last pack. Come on. I'm not even going to show if it's a white code card or not. Here we go. Nuzleaf. Gordy. Nicket. Sableye. Cutie fly. Hop it. This almost. This looks like thick. Thick like writing. It's like it was double stamped or something. Same thing with that last one. And an Ente Hollow. Unfortunately, no. No big hitter for us. We really did not do well on our packs at all. Just brutal. Three Hollows, two Vs, and the Radiant Hisuian Sneasler. But. I don't even care because these Charizard cards are phenomenal. So let me know if you guys were lucky enough to get any of these online. I know they have been slightly tough to get, but more accessible than the Celebrations ones were. Or let me know if you're going to be out hunting for them, seeing if you can get one uh, Walmart, GameStop, Target, something like that. Um, so... If you're planning on open them, opening them, let me know. Let me know how you do on the uh, the centering on your Charizards. My centering wasn't that great, but hopefully yours is better. So, as always, thanks for watching.